In this video, I'm gonna show you how to move around in Blender and all you need is a mouse with a scroll wheel or maybe more commonly known as a three button mouse. So with that said, let's get started. Now just really quickly, if you don't have a three button mouse and all you have is a laptop trackpad or like an Apple Magic Mouse that comes with an iMac, then you're gonna wanna check this video out right up here in the top right corner and that will give you everything that you need to know in your situation. But for everyone else, let's continue on. All right, so moving around in Blender is actually pretty easy. It does take some practice. So if you're not getting the hang of it right away, don't be too hard on yourself. It does take some time to get used to. And really all you have to do is take your middle mouse button, that scroll wheel, and just click it like a button and then move your mouse around. And this will rotate you around your scene just like this. Next, if you hold shift while you do that, it will pan you around up and down, left and right. And then if you let go of your shift button and then just scroll in and out, this zooms you in and out. So with a combination of rotating and panning and zooming in and out, you can get to anywhere that you would like in your scene fairly easy. And like I said, it does take a little bit of getting used to, but once you've got it, this is a very efficient and easy way to move around. And I like this way a lot. And by the way, if you're enjoying this video, finding it helpful, I would really appreciate it if you would leave a like. Thank you. Now this next part isn't necessarily about being able to move freely around like this, but if you need a very specific locked in like side view, front view sort of thing, then this next section will be very helpful. So the way that you take advantage of this is if you have a full size keyboard, meaning that you have a numpad, you can click number one on your numpad and you will be snapped into this front view. And we can see that up here where it says in the top left, we have front orthographic or front view. If we press three, we are snapped into right orthographic or right view. And if we hit seven, we are in top view. So that's one, three, and seven. Now, if you need the opposite of these, like say you need the bottom view and not the top view, all you have to do is press control along with that number. So control and seven will put us in bottom view. Control and one will put us in back view and then control and three will put us in left view. And then really quickly, two more keyboard shortcuts that are really helpful from the numpad. If you hit zero, you will be put into camera view. And this, whenever you go to render your picture or your animation, this is the view that you're gonna see. And if you need to move this, we can hit N to bring out this uh, little section over here and come in to view and do camera to view. And then that will let us move the camera around the same way that we were able to move around before. But now we are able to control the camera a little bit easier than um, we would otherwise. And just don't forget to turn this off when you're done because you'll mess up your camera angle. <laughs> All right, and then one last keyboard shortcut that I wanna show you is something called view selected. And this is a very useful function. And the way that it works is, let's say we're zoomed way out like this and you have a ton of stuff in here, but you really need to get focused back in on your, uh, your default cube here. And so what you do is you select it um, either from your viewport or uh, up here in the outliner, then press decimal point and you will be zoomed directly into whatever you have selected. And this is very, very helpful. And another reason that you would use this is sometimes you know, you're moving around your scene and you're zooming in and zooming out. Sometimes your camera will stop zooming in and out and it will really, really slow down. And if you haven't experienced that yet, you will eventually. The way that you kind of fix this is you need to reset your camera by selecting something and then pressing view selected or this decimal point and it will kind of reset your camera and then you can zoom in and out again and this is really really helpful all right and then so one little bonus tip here at the end is if you don't have a numpad or you just don't like having to remember all those keyboard shortcuts for your numpad then what you can do is click tilde and that's that little squiggly line key right below escape and if you hit that it will bring up a nice little pie menu right here and it's got every view that we just talked about. It's got top view and front view, back view. It even has view selected, which was that really handy feature we just talked about and view camera, which is also really helpful. So if you don't like having to remember all those specific keyboard shortcuts on your numpad, just remember tilde and you'll have access to all of those views. All right, thank you so much for watching guys. If you have any questions at all, let me know down in the comments below. If you're curious about other ways to move around in Blender, you can check this video out right here. I go over three different ways with pros and cons and it's just a great video if you're curious about some of your options. But until next time, we'll see you later.